the slit lamp can be used for measurement we can uh, we can know exactly the length of the slit light and also we can know the angle of the slit light from the horizontal compared to the vertical meridian for example if there is a trigium you can tell exactly how many millimeters this trigium is into the cornea if you get a cornea ulcer like this and you are following the patient you can measure the two axes of this ulcer and we say how many millimeters the ulcer extends so during the follow-up time you can tell whether the ulcer is improving or not you, you can measure a lesion from the limbus how, how far it is away from the limbus or this diameter of the lesion itself the slit length can be taken from this part of the slit lamp if you change the length you can get the number of millimeters from here which equals to the length of the light again the slit width is important in case of follow-up of can have a wide or a narrow light and this is the location where you can see these numbers to tell you exactly the width of the beam of light used now for the posterior segment examination we can use extra lens to see the back surface of the eye like the three mirror in case of examining the macula you can use another mirror on the slit lamp this is the regular mirror we use for the anterior segment you can see there is a long segment of mirror here this is another mirror you can replace the original one the long part here is missing this lens this mirror is important that if you want to make an axial uh, an end on section the direct the you, your light and your microscope are end on this long part is missing so you can see th through the the pupil into the fundus of the patient here I'm putting the video camera recording on the eyepiece and you can see here the light of the microscope this is the regular mirror if it's end on with the microscope you don't see the light itself but if you change this regular mirror and put the short mirror as here you can get the light end on and you get your line of vision visible and you can still see the posterior segment when getting the light from side you can say I'm gonna put the light 5 degrees or 10 degrees to the vertical line but in case of horizontal if you make your slit light instead of being vertical and it is horizontal if you want to make the light coming with an angle you can tilt the light here you get four steps each of equals flare step represent five degrees and you can tilt the source of light the whole bar containing the light source this is important in case you are making section in the macula and this section of light is horizontal and you want the light to come with an angle so if the light is vertical you go from side to side but if the light is horizontal as in here and you want to have it with an angle with this for 5 or 10 or 20 degrees then you can use these steps this is the Volk lens we can use filters to change the type of light we are examining this where you can change your filters 
you can put filters in the path of the light you can get the red free the neutral density filter and you can get the cobalt blue filter this is the whole spectrum of light with all ranges of light if we cut the red part this is the red free light the red free light doesn't have the long part of the waves so the short waves we get a limited penetration power so this is useful to see superficial lesions in the inner fiber layer of the retina but we the light wouldn't go deep to reach to the chloride the cobalt blue filter it cuts the whole long waves leaving only the blue light it's important if you want to see an ulcer and you're having fluorescein stain then the fluorescence means that the fluorescein stain will absorb the short waves which is the blue and re-emit it in a longer wave which is the green then you can see the ulcer in a better way the neutral density filter it's a filter that will reduce the intensity of the whole spectrum it is something like you lower the illumination with this led the advantage of neutral density filter rather than lowering the sp the whole light is that you you can see th colors in a normal way if you lower the whole beam of light down the colors will not be the same but if you use the neutral density filter the amount of heat reaching to the eye the amount of light reaching to the eye is less but the colors are still the same thank you